welcome back to 7 days channel. Today we're gonna learn how to turn a piece of wood in a chandelier. Easy peasy, she said. It wasn't, but you're gonna see it by yourself. Everything started with this picture from Pinterest and I said when I'm gonna do my chandelier of the living room I really wanna try to reproduce it. Okay, so this is one of the columns of the electricity that we had in our garden like for years and years and years. We cut it one piece and I am gonna scrub it with, where is it? With this thing in this way, like all along. It's starting to be dark, but in any case, I'm gonna tell you so after I send it out. Uh, I sprayed something against uh, uh, the insect and now I am painting with this special paint that is against the insect as well. Now we are cutting these pieces so that the screw can be anchored in a, a real tough piece of wood. Now we are preparing all the screws and these pieces so that we can spray them and everything will become black matte. And here we go. The important is that one side is black. We don't have to do the second side, just the, the one that is visible. In the meanwhile, I have sprayed also the chains that are gonna um, support all the chandelier. That's why my nail is like this. Now we're gonna pre-drill the wood so that it's easier to anchor this after. In some point it will be hard with the hand so you have to use something else just to help yourself. For the lamps uh, we got four of these uh, cables made with the uh, fabric and I'm gonna show you how they are made. So we got high quality uh, socket and uh, cable and then they are coming also with a housing but we are gonna use only one housing for all the four lamps. About the lamps we got two types of lamps. Both of them are globes. One is just a normal globe and the other is half black so that the light is going to be reflected on the ceiling and our uh, chandelier is going to be seen. I'm going to show you the lamps. So the lamps are like this. So when everything will be open, we're going to have uh, light everywhere. When we're going to close these two lamps, the other two with the dark um, with a dark dome are gonna make uh, ambience uh, in our house. We are gonna use parts of the four of them to combine in one housing. Like we're trying to extract this part. Now we're gonna make four Holes, so all the four parts are gonna be connected so we're gonna get also the other two of them and we're gonna place it like this now that we made all the four holes we're gonna use the cone to make the holes wider and now we're gonna put everything into place Four, four times. This is how it should look like when you finish. We are gonna unscrew one part and then we are gonna let the cable slide in and then again the cable has to slide inside the core part. And that's it. Then we are gonna use these connectors One in one side, one in the other, and then you're gonna screw drive it, it in. <laughs> it's 
screw it in. And voila, with this we finished the first part of the electric um, connections. Time to say goodbye to my Easter chandelier, finally! Yay! For safety reasons, we always switch off the power. All we have to do now is to remove what is already attached so we can work with it. My God, it's so high. Can I then you're gonna connect the four cables with the four cables in the housing. It will be really hard to show, so I really hope that you understood. I'm gonna show you. There are four cables, one, two, three, four. We have done a mistake because actually we have eight cables in our chandeliers and four in the house. So we have to connect two to the cables of the chandelier so they become four and they can be connected with the four cables of the house. So now because here we have eight cables and in the house we have only four cables, we're gonna join the two blues together, the two browns together, the two blues together on the other side and the two browns together again. So that they become four. Voila, this is the first one. So here are the first couples, the two blue and the two brown, we're gonna do the same here. And one, two, three, four. So let's say that this is one of the four cables of uh, your house and you're gonna put it one here, one here, one here and the fourth here. Now that we understood what we have to do with the cables, we have to put the bracket that is gonna keep our housing safe in the roof. Okay, so this is gonna keep our housing and this is gonna be uh, in the roof, safe in the roof. Okay, so in this moment I am on the stair and again, we did something wrong, I'm gonna explain you. So here we have four cables, okay? So the yellow and the green is the ground. The other three are the cables with the power. So from our round housing that we have a part of the chandeliers, we are gonna uh, put all the blue together and we are gonna uh, connect uh, the blue uh, cables with this blue. And then the other two that remains are gonna connect one with the white one and one with the red one. The ground uh, is gonna be fixed to the socket. Now we are almost sure because we called also an electrician that is our friend. So hopefully this is the right time. Okay, so to understand what we have done, we connected two blues together, two browns together, two blues together, the two browns, this is another brown, together and then we got the the blues that is this and this in one blue. So we are gonna have one, two and three. This is gonna be connected with the blue cable, this is gonna be connected with the, the white and this is gonna be connected with the red. Fingers crossed, it should work. Now we're gonna anchor the housing to the roof. Voila! Our spider is ready. <laughs> now we're gonna switch the power on and before keep going on we're gonna see if it's working. Woohoo! Yes! Try also for the second uh, scale and it's working! Now we're gonna measuring our um, piece of wood because we want that the anchor point of the chain in the roof is gonna be exactly vertical. Okay, so we're gonna measure from the center 55 and we're gonna pre-drill. Let's go! Sorry. And it's time to anchor the hook. Time to hang the chains! This is how it's looking right now. Let's go! 
Obelix. Okay. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Maybe you want some help? No, maybe not. Oh my god, this is happening! I don't believe it. <gasps> yes! In the end, we decide to do it a little bit shorter. So, we left a little bit of chain down. I think it will be a nice effect in the end. And we are trying to, to wrap it. <laughs> Okay, in the end we didn't like that version because the the chain is not visible and I really like it. So we are attempting this way. At the beginning I tried to use all four transparent globes because I was really worried that maybe I won't have enough light. But actually the ones that are half dark are really creating a so much magical atmosphere with this light and are enhancing the chandelier itself as well. Normally we should have finished but we don't like the spider shade over there. So maybe we're gonna try to, to see if there is something to cover it. We spray painted this piece of kind of wood, like plywood, and we're gonna put it to on the top of the spider. We use this piece as a sample and we pre-drill uh, the right and the left. And then we added the screw that we have made in a black color so it won't be so visible and then we're gonna attach it above the spider. Okay, finally done! Tum -tum. That's it for this video. I really hope that you liked it. If you did, as always, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe is the red button down there. Thank you!